Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so so happy to have you back today for a new reading. I hope that all of you are doing amazing today and having a wonderful day. So for today's reading, we'll be taking a look at where is life taking you next. So this is going to be for your upcoming three months perhaps from whenever you're watching this video, what you guys can expect in regarding your life moving forward in the upcoming three months and you know where is your life ready to take you so we have three piles to choose from we have pile number one with the hierophant pile number two with the chariot and pile number three with the wheel of fortune please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to and then you can skip to the time steps which are in the description box and i will see you guys at your reading hello my beautiful pile number one if you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading today about where is life taking you next. So pile number one for your pile, today you guys chose the beautiful Hierophant card here, as well as this hot air balloon um, charm with the far away here, it says far away. So okay, maybe some of you are going on a journey somewhere, or this can be journey about life is also what I'm uh, getting for you, pile number one. Because with the higher fend, if you felt drawn to this card, I am kind of getting an energy that maybe perhaps through the next three months, a lot of you are going to experience a lot of spiritual growth. Uh, maybe your faith will get stronger is something that I'm getting. Maybe some events are going to strengthen your faith. That's kind of, kind of what I'm picking up from your pile. But I want to start with an oracle card for you guys to see uh, exactly where life is ready to take you and what you guys can expect. All uh, right, we're looking at your kind of three months ahead, I want to say. So whenever this reading finds you, three months from then, right? So let's see where is life taking you. For my lovely palm number one, spirit guides and angels, where is life ready to take them? Palm number one. Let's see. So you guys have warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? Oh, wow. Wait, this is so powerful warrior woman and have you answered your deepest calling so this is a very powerful question you can ask yourself right now pile number one because i do feel that where life is taking you next is towards your deepest calling and i feel that is the way that your faith will become stronger that is the way that your faith is going to grow in the upcoming three months because it does feel like some events might show up where they lead you to a more aligned path which, you know, then results to you having more faith in life, in God, in your religion, in the universe, spirituality. So it does feel like life is ready to take you somewhere far away towards your deepest calling. I love this. And a lot of you, you're going to become so much stronger. I see you becoming more confident. I see... I also kind of feel like you're going to become wiser to the point where maybe some people start to seek advice from you or they look up to you as well. Because a hierophant represents somebody who has very, like, very big respect from people. Uh, they have, like, um, I want to say, like, they're very respected for their wisdom and knowledge. And that's kind of what I, why I feel that maybe some of you are going to gain some kind of experience where then people start to look up to you a lot. But it seems like where life is ready to take you is towards your deepest calling. I want to say trust as to what happens in the upcoming few months for you guys. Trust where life is taking you. Some events might not make sense, but that is because there's a lot of maybe faith and religion involved. Uh, and that's the only way it's going to grow for you. It's going to become stronger. But I do feel that a lot of you are ready to kind of rise. I'm getting like this rising energy from you. You're finally ready to, you know, get up and follow the deepest calling that is within you. So with Warrior Woman, we see you also becoming more confident, more powerful. It's going to be kind of Queen of Swords energy. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you are going to start to cut out anything toxic from your life or anything that is not benefiting you from moving forward. I do see a lot of movement forward as well as, uh, you know, with Far Away here. It does feel like you're, at the, you're going to see like... um your life change a lot in the upcoming three months, I want to say. There is something that you guys are not seeing. Because to me, it looks like this, like, I think this is a duck. It, it kind of feels to me like a mystery, like something that's behind you that you're not expecting or you're not seeing coming. So I do feel there is going to be some kind of mystery or some kind of surprise in the upcoming three months for you. Let's get your tarot cards to see the details. Where is 
Life Ready to Take You, pawn number one. From my lovely pawn number one spirit, where is life ready to take them? Can you please let us know? Where is life ready to take pawn number one? Okay, let's see your cards here. So first you have the tower moment. Yeah, some things are definitely going to be changing. I'm seeing old habits falling apart and you building you building new habits that are going to benefit you a lot more in the future. And I'm also being reminded of a throne from this image. So I do feel that where life is taking you is towards your throne. It's towards your right deepest calling, your authority, your confidence. But this will require you to accept some kind of changes, I feel, or uh, some things leaving your life that don't resonate with you anymore. So it's like if you want to change, you're going to have to let go of some things or some people that you currently might be uh, possessing in your life because the highest version of yourself, which I feel like you're becoming, wouldn't resonate with that, you know? I feel like, I don't know how I can give you an example about this, but... You know, just think of like the, the highest version of yourself, the future self that you want to become. And what kind of activities do they daily do, right? Do they watch Netflix all day or do they, right? Are they, are they busy? Are they doing productive things? So it does feel like there's going to be that kind of falling apart of like habits that just don't serve you the highest version of yourself in order for you guys to shift there. But I do feel like this path is leading you towards your throne right because we do have warrior woman and then um i'm seeing with a tower here like a throne so i do feel it's leading you towards like a better version of yourself right the highest version of yourself almost yeah look at this queen of wands i see a lot more um respect for you especially so with the queen of wands this is showing me like respect people respecting you especially they're gonna respect you for who you are they're gonna respect you for your authentic self I feel like you're not going to have to pretend anymore in the future. Three of Pentacles. Okay, I like this. I feel you're going to see some positive changes when it comes to the people that you're working with. I feel that life is going to lead you towards your soul tribe, especially when it comes to creative work and um, or your career pursuit. So some of you are maybe working on some projects right now or you want to pursue something in a creative field. I feel that in the upcoming three months, life is going to lead you to people who are going to be great to work with for you. They're going to really benefit um, you from like, uh, they're, they're going to bring you a lot of benefit when it comes to working with you or collaborating with you is what I'm getting. The strength card, there is definitely going to be something that is going to make you guys feel stronger, make you feel more confident. So I see your self-confidence rising as well. This is because your uh, your faith is going to become much stronger. I do get like this strong feeling that in the upcoming three months, there is going to be a huge shift when it comes to your faith and your religion because it will become much stronger. And your last card is the lover. So this is all leading you towards your deepest calling, towards your biggest alignment. With the lovers, you know, this is the soulmate card. It does also represent divine timing and divine orchestration. So so as I mentioned for you, there's a lot of faith involved here. I feel what's going to happen in the upcoming few months for your palmer one is very divinely timed and very divinely like guided. And you will be able to notice that. That's why you will see something about your faith changing and becoming stronger because you will experience too much alignment i want to say in the upcoming few months where you just cannot like explain it any like anyhow else except for it's divine it's faith it's meant to be that's kind of what i'm getting here from your energy because it does feel like life is really trying to align you towards your deepest calling and i mean that's why you're why you also have the three of pentacles because this card is you know all about collaborations uh working with people like having a team a great team especially when it comes to creative projects in the workspace and that's why I feel like life is leading you towards things that are just more aligned in order for you to become the highest version of yourself. So if some things are starting to shed away, some things are starting to leave your life, accept that and move on is what I'm hearing for you, Palmer One, because it's all leading you to who you want to become. 
the queen of wands you know this is a queen who is just very confident very attractive everybody loves them they're known for their creativity they're known for their passion and people are going to be able to recognize it people are going to see you and they're going to want to work with you because they see the passion that you have they see your ideas they're going to be able to recognize them and want to work with you and this is all, like i see you becoming so much more confident in yourself in the upcoming three months because life is going to feel so much more aligned it's gonna feel like you know good things are happening and i'm doing what i love and it feels like things are moving in the right direction so i now trust god right now i trust the divine that it's taking me towards where i want to go especially with the lover's card it's definitely showing me that it's leading you towards alignment you know and you have the deepest calling here so i feel that's a really big confirmation that life is really ready to take you towards what your deepest calling is and i wouldn't be surprised if for a lot of you this is some kind of creative pursuit because with the queen of wands is always telling me about creative work about passion about ideas uh maybe fame for some of you and, and i'm kind of seeing like a, almost like an agency or somebody a company who wants to work with you to develop you almost in a sense like that's kind of what I'm getting here from your cards. Of course, that's a more specific message. So just take what resonates. But, it, but I am getting for a lot of you. It's like people taking interest and wanting to work with you. Because they're starting to recognize your ideas. They're starting to recognize your passion. Oh, look at this. Wow, new beginnings. Oh, I like this. And you also have truth. So there's a lot of cards that came out. So let's just take a look at them. You have truth. You have opportunity. You have happiness here. I'm not going to keep these on the table because it's um it's going to be too many cards. But it does feel like you guys are getting right a new beginning right now where you are currently on your journey. Life is ready to give you a new beginning. And what this new beginning holds for you guys is first of all, this journey is going to feel so much more authentic, right? It's going to be something that you actually want to do. It's not going to be something that you're just doing it for the sake of maybe money or the sake of like, I have to survive and be alive. So it does feel like upcoming next, there is more authenticity involved in your life. I feel this is, there is going to be an opportunity, right? To work with some people or to showcase something, showcase maybe your talent, showcase your potential. And this is going to lead you guys to a lot more happiness. So we see this new beginning definitely being much more positive for you guys and it leading you to more happiness, I want to say here. Uh, but it's holding a, a very specific opportunity as we see here with the opportunity card. An opportunity, I want to say, that will make you really happy and it will feel very authentic and personal to you. So this is something that you've always wanted is kind of what I'm picking up here. Where is life ready to take you, palm number one? Oh, look at this ascension. And I mentioned something about rising for you guys. So I am kind of getting like that energy of like the phoenix rising from the ashes for, uh, for you, especially with warrior woman. You know, you have ascension. I mentioned the throne for you guys, um, especially the queen of wands, right? Uh, they're always sitting on their throne. So you guys are ready to ascend. This new beginning is leading you towards ascension and you have the sage. So as I mentioned, some things might start to leave your life. Um, some people might start to leave your life. Some habits that you have, you might feel called to start changing them. So you might feel called to maybe change up your diet. You might feel called to change your workout routine or the way that your lifestyle is. Some of you, I do see an upgrade in your lifestyle as well. Um, maybe you're going to start to focus more, maybe taking like private transportation is kind of what I, I don't know. I heard that really random message, but it's kind of like you're really elevating. Maybe you're going to start to shop at more, uh, for more quality clothes. So there's th that kind of energy where you, I feel the quality of your life is going to increase. Maybe you're going to start to buy like more organic foods. It's that kind of energy where I feel like you're just ready to improve. I feel that like you're ready to commit to being like a, a really improved version of yourself almost. So in the upcoming few months, I see a lot of your habits changing as well. I mean, with ascension, I feel that's happening. But something is ascending, especially if you when it comes to your career. If you guys are involved in some kind of creative work, I do see some kind of ascension in that area as well. What else is happening for you, Palm number one? Let's see. Where is, where is life ready to take you guys? Okay, so you guys have making a difference. My inner light shines far and wide. Oh, wait, this is so amazing. Okay, I like this. My inner light shines far and wide. 
So what this is telling me, I'm kind of getting a lot of you, you want to express yourself in some kind of way creatively. And I specifically see this reaching worldwide recognition because you have far and wide. Whatever you guys are going to express, it's going to shine worldwide. You're going to be able to, like people are going to recognize you worldwide. People are going to recognize you for your talent worldwide. Some of you, if you want to start a business, I do see you like reaching clients overseas. I see you expanding in that kind of sense. Or maybe people from afar are going to take interest in you and they're going to want to work with you. But either way, there's something maybe about your voice that's being recognized with the mouth here or with the star, you might have some kind of talent that people are going to start to recognize, people are going to feel drawn to it, and they're going to want to work with you. They're going to want to almost like maybe guide you towards success or um, like help you out, right? That's kind of what I'm getting here for you. Wow, that's amazing. I definitely feel that you're ascending though, you know, with the wings here, like you're ready to fly, you know, you have far away. So I want to say that in the upcoming three months, a lot of things will happen and it, it is going to feel like life has changed for you a lot, which I feel is something amazing. A lot of you, I'm sure you would love to feel that. You would love to hear that. Let's get your angel card uh, messages here to see what else life wants to tell you guys. For my lovely calendar one, where is life ready to take them? Let's take this one as well. Okay, so let's see. Maybe some synchronicities will come up for you guys. You have the number four. I am stable. You bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. Yeah, no wonder people are going to want to work with you guys. I said with the Three of Pentacles, there's something about you starting to work with people, you collaborating with people. Maybe these are new colleagues, new friends, new partners. But I feel people are going to start to recognize how stable you are. I mean, where you're a woman, it's showing me that you're very committed to something and people are going to see you like, oh, this person is like, they're agreed to work with like there's somebody who is very re reliable and trust me you know in business the, the most important thing is re re reliability stability no matter how much somebody has potential no matter how somebody is um you know there um without them being reliable nobody is going to really want to work with them because they can you know give up at any moment but i feel for you people see you as somebody who is worth investing in because of how reliable you seem so number four i'm also seeing more stability showing up in your life and look at this 10 10 i am patient keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you didn't i mention that there is some divine orchestration happening behind the scenes for you guys and then I say that your faith is going to really be rewarded. It's going to pay out. It's going to become stronger. Because I feel if you guys keep your patience in the upcoming few months, life is really going to prove to be good for you. I see your angels are working behind the scenes and they're asking you to be patient throughout this journey. Trust how everything is unfolding because everything is happening for your highest good. I see that like your angels are ready to lead you guys to your deepest calling. So in the upcoming few months, be patient with life okay be uh, have faith believe in your religion believe in your you know spirituality because it's all going to be rewarded at the end of the day is what i'm seeing here for you lovely reading poem number one i hope that this resonated with you guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye hello my beautiful poem number two if you guys chose this pile then this is going to be your reading today about where is life ready to take you next. So pile number two for your card today, you guys have the chariot card here. Okay, I like this energy right away. And you also have the lovely star charm. So pile number two, what I'm picking up for you right away with this chariot card, I feel that, that a lot of you are kind of like um, ready for this new journey or this new adventure. It does kind of feel like you're maybe going after like a risk or a leap of faith. So some of you, like, you might be feeling a bit scared about it. Like, it, it feels like you're really confident and you're excited, but, you know, there's always, like, that underlying energy of, like, okay, but I don't know exactly how everything is going to work out. So you might feel a little bit, like, scared, but I'm hearing for you guys that you're ready, okay? I'm hearing that you're ready and you're going to make it. That's something that I'm getting for you. 
I feel that this is the right time for you as well to do this. Uh, if some of you are maybe planning to move somewhere or again, like start like a new journey, maybe when it comes to your self-development or your uh, business, your career, I feel like you're ready for this. Like you're ready for the progress that you have planned to make. Let's get an oracle card for you guys to see where your life is ready to take you next. See, spirit guides and angels, where is life taking pile number two? Pile number two. So you guys have, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Exactly. I was saying like there is something like some of you might be having your doubts at the moment or you might be like uh, a bit scared about where you're headed. But spirit is saying like you're already on it. Like you're, I, I feel like this is just like another part of your journey, guys. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like a lot of you have been making some progress here with the chariot. It feels like you maybe are currently on this journey and you're just ready for the next step. Like you're just ready to go to the next level. So it feels like you're already doing it. You're already like succeeding in this. And maybe you've had some success in the past. So spirit is saying like, don't, don't doubt yourself right now. Don't get that energy get to you. So stop overthinking and keep facing your true north. This is basically saying stop fearing and keep going, right? So wherever you guys are headed, like keep pursuing. Don't look back right now. Don't have your doubts. I feel like you're on the right path is what I'm getting. Uh, it feels like this, you know, the question for today is where is life ready to take you next? But I'm kind of getting like you have been already at this journey. Like you're already in it. You're already doing it. You already know. So just keep pursuing of where you're headed, I want to say. I feel like you guys don't need to change anything. And it's very natural, you know, to have our doubts and to sometimes feel scared, especially uh, when we're doing something, you know, we're ready to take the risk to the next level. Because, uh, you know, jumping to the next level, it's always a risk. It's always a leap of faith. But I feel that you guys are ready and Spirit is saying just go ahead, pursue and, you know, just keep facing your destiny. Keep moving towards your destiny without any delays, without any questioning or having your doubts. I like this energy. Okay, let's see what else. Let's get your tarot cards to get more details here for you. Where is your life ready to take you? For my lovely Palmer 2 Spirit, where is life taking them next? Where is life taking pile number two? Can you please let us know? Okay, let's take a look here at your cards. So, for your first card, you guys have the Nine of Swords. So yeah, stop worrying, stop overthinking. Um, this is exactly you know, the card of when we get, it, it might show up when maybe we're not sleeping enough or some of you, you maybe need to sleep more. For others of you, it could be like you may have been a bit more anxious than usual lately. Maybe you have been overthinking it, right? You have been having a lot of things on your mind. Um, like making sure that maybe everything is prepared for your trip, that everything is ready for your life moving forward. So just kind of try to go like more within, maybe try to try to ground yourself a little bit more because it does feel like some of you might be worrying about something excessively. It doesn't have to be to the extreme, but I'm kind of getting this message of just make sure that you get enough sleep, make sure that you're not overthinking about this. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting like the, the faster you make the decisions, the faster you're going to progress, the faster you will see the returns. So some of you, maybe you have been taking your time way too long to decide on something. And I'm kind of getting like, just make the decision and you will see things moving. So yeah. Oh, look at this nine of pentacles. If some of you guys are worried about your finances, this is, I'm hearing this is a worry that you shouldn't have. Because you're really financially protected in your journey moving forward. Like maybe some of you, especially if you guys are kind of like the best example I can give you, some of you are like ready to move to a new country and you're like kind of worried about the expenses. I'm kind of getting that you're supported and backed up for this. Like if you guys are investing a lot of your finances into something right now, I'm getting that you shouldn't worry about this because I feel that in the upcoming months, you will see your finances expand quite a bit. Let's see, you guys also have King of Cups. Oh, I like this, okay. You also have Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there's more money coming in. And you also have the Three of Cups. Okay, so where is life ready to take you? I want to say something for you, poll number three. I feel the upcoming three months, you guys are going to really experience like a level up, especially when it comes to your lifestyle. 
Uh, I see all of your desires and needs being met when it comes to like your daily life and going beyond that. So with the King of Cups, I do feel in the upcoming three months, a lot of you are just going to feel more happy with your life. You're going to feel in so much more alignment. Like you, the life that you will be leaving, living, it's going to be, I even want to say like stress-free. Like even if right now some of you are stressed out, in the upcoming months, I see you guys like not being stressed at all, especially about finances. And I feel like you will be just living like your best life. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like um, you will be enjoying kind of the finer things in life, the luxuries in life. And luxuries for every person is going to be different. For some of for somebody, luxury is going to be shopping. For somebody, luxury is going to be being in nature. And for somebody is going to be traveling, right? It's or spending time with family. But I see you feeling abundant in the upcoming three months. There is going to be maybe some kind of new job opportunity for some of you. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is always a sign of something new coming in when it comes to your money and your job. So it could show up in your life as a new job opportunity. It could show up in your life as maybe a new way to make money or a new way to invest money. But there is something about money that is improving for you, I want to say, in the upcoming three months. Some of you might even start to work with some people. So with the Three of Cups, it's kind of showing me signs of friendships or people like celebrating with people. There might be some good news that you guys will be delivering. Maybe you're reuniting with some people in your life or you're just deciding to work with some people when it comes to your job. But it feels like your upcoming few months are going to be very fulfilling and they're going to feel very aligned. So don't worry. I'm kind of getting like, don't worry. Everything is going to go fine. Everything is going to be like really good for you guys. And the main energy I'm seeing for you in the upcoming few months is just things progressing. That's what I'm getting because you have here keep facing your true north. So it does feel like, like, um, life is ready to take you even more towards your nor north, more towards your destiny. Just trust what's happening is what I'm getting here for you. There isn't really much that I see you guys needing to worry about. Like right now, you might be just worried because it's like before the launch. But after you go into it, I feel like you'll be able to see that you are actually very financially supported. Um, a lot of your desires, I feel that they're going to be gifted to you or you will just feel very blessed in the upcoming three months is kind of what I'm picking up. Let's see what else. Pile number two, where is the life ready to take you guys? You have embracing. I like this. Let's get one more card to see what this is about. Embracing, this is just general, like a really good energy, right? It's kind of giving me, it does kind of give me like King of Cups energy where it's like affection and feeling grateful, right? Feeling like all of your desires are being met. Let's see, what, this, what is this card about spirit? Can you please let us know what... Where is life ready to take pole number two? Oh, you have community. There's something, yeah, there might be something that, like about your community that it will be expanding. I'm seeing with embracing, maybe some people are going to welcome you or some people are going to appreciate you guys. You have abundance on the bottom of the deck. So it does feel like regarding your money, things will be improving in the upcoming few months. Um, but with embracing and community, I see a community of people accepting you. Maybe your following is going to grow with community or you guys are going to be able to find friends or people who you can work with that will welcome you. It will feel like it's your tribe is kind of what I'm getting here. So there is like a community of people that are going to accept you in the upcoming three months. Whether this is going to be online or it's going to be in real life, it feels like you will be really loved by people, especially with the King of Cups. It does feel like there's a lot more love and affection coming up in your life. So if before some of you felt like you were kind of distant away from people, maybe you didn't have a lot of friends, uh, you didn't have a lot of people in your life. I actually see that changing in the upcoming few months here where a lot more people are going to be like able to accept you and i see you guys finding people who are going to run out, who are going to resonate with you and they're maybe going to want to work with you or support you especially if you have maybe something like a youtube channel or a social media account i see that growing for you in the upcoming three months Let's see what else where is life ready to take you pile number two let's see the outlaw yeah, there is some kind of like challenge or something that you guys are doing here. It's like it feels like you're just ready for, you know, the next step. 
and you guys also have dare to dream so you have dare to dream and the outlaw um i feel this is really explaining well what i was saying in the beginning as you guys are like ready to do something that's going to take you to the next level and with the outlaw this might seem like it's very risky or it's it feels like it's you might feel like a rebel even for doing it. like some people might see you as a rebel for doing it but it's it's your dream yeah yeah like you have dare to dream it feels like you guys are going after your dream moving forward like there is a specific dream that you have and you are pursuing it in the upcoming three months spirit is encouraging you to keep going on this journey keep pursuing this dream because it does feel like you're getting closer to it in the upcoming few months here and if yeah i feel that like you're gonna see something about your career changing here or Maybe you will start to get more clients. Maybe you will start to like more people are going to recognize what you guys are doing. Uh, but it does feel like something about your job will be improving here about your hobby, your finances as well. Most importantly, though, I feel the main energy for you in the upcoming three months. I see you just feeling very abundant. Like I feel that you won't be lacking financial stability. That's the main thing I'm getting. Like you guys won't feel at any moment like you're maybe lacking money. Or something like that it does feel like financially you will feel pretty secured in the upcoming three months where is life ready to take you pile number two let's see yeah standing firm and noble brave and strong there's something about reaching goals there's something about um here with the mountain i feel that a lot of you you're either gonna like achieve a dream of yours in the upcoming few months it feels like you're getting very close to it um and then you're going to be ready for the next step but i do feel you'll be making some kind of progress when it comes to your goals and your dream like your destiny your biggest dream that's why you'll be feeling with the king of cups like you'll be feeling very grateful very blessed with life is mainly what i'm getting for you let's end your reading with an angel number card for number two where is your life ready to take you next in the upcoming few months here for my lovely palm number two okay let's see so you have the number 10 i am in ignatius i hope that's how you pronounce it you have great leadership skills your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up in ingenuous ideas and organize all the details then direct others how to carry things out. To be honest, palm number two, I feel that you have everything planned out to the T about what's going to happen next with this card. It feels like you guys are somebody who is, you know, who has a leadership um, energy. You might be a life path number one, okay? So for some of you, you might be a life path number one, or you might resonate with a number one because that is the number of leadership. It's the number of somebody who has a really like strong ability to lead. So I feel honestly moving forward about your life. It feels like a lot of you actually have a lot of your things figured out, but you might be feeling a bit anxious whether things are going to go according to plan. And I see by your cards, things going pretty well even maybe even better than your expectations like i see you being able to meet your goal that you have i see you being able to make progress when it comes to your finances your finances seem to be stable you seem to be able to fulfill your desires your needs so this worry is just kind of like the before you jump but once you go ahead everything will go smoothly i feel that in the upcoming few months like things uh, you know pay attention maybe if you don't have it figured out pay attention to organization to planning it feels like this is something that works for you it feels like this way works for you when you have a plan when you have a schedule i do feel that might be something especially if you're a life path number one i feel a lot of you might resonate with having like a schedule that you can rely on like this will be really helpful for you guys to achieve your goals in a much more efficient and faster way but to sum it up i feel that where is life ready to take you take you next Honestly, the, like the most straightforward answer I can give you is I just feel life is ready to take you to your next level, like to the next goal, to, um, you know, closer to your north, closer to your destiny and your dreams. I just see you guys making big progress in the upcoming few months. And, you know, there's something about experiencing the better sides of life, about feeling more abundant, more luxurious that's going to also come up for you guys 
Also some community stuff here, maybe your following growing or your friend um, community growing. But overall, I kind of feel that things are actually going to be quite like fun for you and interesting. So just trust yourself. It feels like you guys have it figured out and you kind of have a vision of how things are going to work out for you. So just take this reading as a confirmation as to what's to come for you next. Uh, I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye! Hello my beautiful pile number 3. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading today about where is life ready to take you next. So pile 3 for your card today, you guys have the lovely Wheel of Fortune here. As well as this, I believe this is a postmark, I'm not really sure how you call these in English, but you also have Paris here. So maybe you resonate with this city, maybe you are from here, I'm not quite sure, but it's a really cute charm, okay. So you have the Wheel of Fortune again. This is kind of giving me energy of um, your life changing a lot moving forward. So where is life ready to take you? I do feel there is a lot of like up, like life changing events that are about to come up for you guys. You can expect your life to really turn around is what I'm hearing for some of you. Some of you might be ready to turn your life around as well. Like you might have decided to make changes in your life that are going to result into a better future for you. But I'm going to start with an oracle card to see what exactly your reading is going to be about today. So let's see palm number three. Where is life ready to take you next? For my lovely palm number three, where is their life ready to take you? Oh, you have awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Yeah, as I said there is going to be quite a bit of changes. For some of you, you have also trust and nickel. So this is telling you to trust your intuition, trust the nudges. Some of you might be having like uh, some inspired action coming up for you. Like you feel nudged in this direction. You feel nudged to pursue this or to take up this course or to meet these people, maybe text somebody. So it does feel like life is telling you trust those nudges that you're going to experience in the upcoming few months because it's all leading you towards um, basically a very drastic change when it comes to your life because the Wheel of Fortune is never subtle, it's quite drastic. So with the Awakening, we do see that uh, a new way of being, right? Uh, I mentioned for you, some of you are ready or you have decided to change your life around. Uh, this might... Um, like manifest in the way of changing your habits, maybe changing your daily routine. There is going to be some kind of changes I feel that you're going to be implementing in the upcoming few months that are going to lead to more awakening. Energetic upgrades. It does feel like you guys are going to be feeling better though. So some of you energetically are feeling kind of drained. I feel that's going to be changing in the upcoming few months where you start to feel energetically much better. Like you start to feel like you have more energy. You start to feel more excited about life. Um, maybe some of you are going to travel somewhere. It's going to inspire you. But I do feel energetically you feeling much better in the upcoming three months because of the changes that you will be implementing. And if some of you have been thinking about like uh, upgrading your maybe fitness routine or your eating routine to be like better or a healthier one, it does feel like that's going to give you a lot more energy, you know, makes sense. But let's get your tarot cards to see the details about your life in the upcoming few months. And let's see where is life taking you next, pile number three. Spirit guides and angels, can you please let me know where life is ready to take pile number three next? Please give us straightforward and direct messages for pile number three regarding their life next. Okay, let's see. Let's start with this card. Okay, so you have the High Priestess. Yeah, uh, this makes sense with the card that we saw here. Trust the niggle. Trust your nudge. What are you, What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? The High Priestess is all about trusting your intuition. So the High Priestess is saying to me that you already have the answers. Uh, they're within you, they're in your nudges, um, or you can call this inspired action where you maybe kind of get this idea suddenly that you want to try out this course or maybe give this person a call, give this person a text, um, and then like an opportunity comes out of it. So it does feel like if you guys focus on inspired action in the next couple of months, because I feel this is going to lead you to... Um, a lot of changes in your life, right? A new way of being. There's, it's going to lead you to in, an improvement in your life if you trust those inspired actions and if you trust your intuition. 
you have the hermit okay i feel that you will and you know this makes sense especially with awakening um in order for us to awaken and in order for us to right become this new version because you do have a new way of being there is always the spirit of going a bit more within so i feel in the next couple of months some of you might decide to spend more time alone or you might decide to kind of step out of the um, so much distract world i feel nowadays so some of you might be deciding to go more within i feel with the hermit like explore more of yourself explore more of your interests. maybe you'll be taking a break of social media maybe you'll be taking a break of um constantly being around people or something like that but i do feel like you will be spending more time by yourself yeah the three of cups with the hermit it feels like some of you might be also questioning your current friends in the upcoming three months or the people that are around you or you might be just deciding to take a bit of a step back from uh surrounding yourself with so many people you have the magician the reason why you're doing this is because maybe some of you want to learn more about manifestation or you want to manifest some things in your life and you're starting to realize that maybe some things are distracting you from your goals so i do feel in the upcoming three months you guys will be focusing more on within blocking away distractions in order to bring your manifestations in faster and king of cups so this is about receiving your manifestations i feel that in the upcoming three months you guys will be able to successfully manifest something uh, some of your wishes if you implement the changes that you're currently thinking about making so i'm kind of getting like where is life ready to take you guys more specifically i feel that some of you feel these nudges within you that maybe you should distance yourself a little bit from some things uh from distractions maybe like spend less time watching netflix or spend less time um with people who don't really mean that much to you because i feel that we've all been there where sometimes like we meet up with people just for the sake of like you know being around and not feeling so lonely but i feel that some of you are kind of starting to realize that that is not really bringing you any benefit especially if you feel start to feel very drained after leaving the meeting with that person so i'm kind of getting like some of you might be feeling called to distance yourself and to go more within like spend maybe more time exercising more time focusing on spirituality and i'm getting that this is the right move for you guys because this is going to help you to spiritually awaken more the only time we can really spiritually awaken is when we're alone because everything else is a distraction and you know i don't want to say that you should just go and isolate yourself and not uh, really communicate with anybody because sometimes communicating with people can help us evoke right questions within us that we can think about and we can and then it leads to mental clarity it leads to conclusions and that is also how we spiritually grow but i want to say that in order to really expand spiritually we do need to spend most of our time alone because that is the best way we can understand ourselves, and that's when we go more within and focus on our faith so i do feel for a lot of you there is going to be this distancing from friends in the upcoming few months this is in order for you guys to really dive deep into yourself and your inner self um and i see this causing you to be able to manifest things quite a bit faster in your life so you will see the changes like when you implement these changes you will see the results quite fast i want to say oh let, let's see this card flow very fast for you yeah you have standstill I, I do kind of feel it's time for you to maybe uh not put things to a pause but just kind of shift more towards a quieter way i guess of living and you have illumination here i see this bringing a lot of mental clarity for you guys like if some of you are feeling a bit fogged in as we see here on, on the image it does kind of feel that if you guys are feeling a bit fogged in i feel that spending more time alone is really going to benefit you guys or just stepping away from such a you know the, the modern busy day of living right there's some i feel that like you're gonna make some changes to your lifestyle where you really just start to pay more attention to going within which will lead to a lot of like mental clarity especially about manifestations focus on learning manifesting if you are not familiar with it uh i feel that's going to help you guys in the upcoming few months or i see your abilities to manifest improving quite a bit again this is all as a result of spiritual awakening i feel that manifestation and you know spirituality goes hand in hand and the more we awaken to our inner self the easier manifestation becomes because it gives us the the answers to manifesting right 
we're always the answer and when we better connect with ourselves, we get there easier yeah you have your trust so there's going to be something that you're gonna have to trust quite a bit of what's happening in the upcoming few months and you have connect to heart exactly so connect to yourself maybe some of you have pets and you know spending time with your pet is a great way i feel to also connect within so focus on connecting to your heart more in the upcoming three months i feel that life is ready to take you towards a path that's more maybe quiet in the upcoming few months it's more connected it's more about it's going to be more about you and your relationship with yourself your relationship with your heart and this is all happening so that it can spiritually awaken you more so that you can go deeper into spirituality um, and you can manifest easier is what I'm mainly getting here for you. Okay, let's see what else. Palm number three, where is life ready to take you guys next? Let's see this card. Communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. Oh, I like this. Let me just get one more card here because I'm kind of getting that the way that you speak is going to be changing. Honestly, I see the next few months being really focused on manifesting for you guys and you're going to learn a lot about it. And the first lesson that you might learn is how you communicate to the world and how you speak to yourself that it does really matter. So I see your communication with yourself and to the world really changing. Like. I feel a lot of you are going to be intentionally speaking more positively to yourself, speaking more positive affirmations. Uh, there, it feels like this card is like good words coming from your mouth is what I heard with this. So it feels like you guys will be projecting a lot of positive energy into your reality. And you have proceed softly. My inner power grows in moments of yeah qu quietude. So there's a lot about, um, I feel the next three months might quit, like they might... I feel that the next three months might feel kind of quiet for you guys, uh, but this is something that you need. And I feel that a lot of you are kind of ready for this, like you want this in your life. You want some time to maybe reflect or to rest, but you have to proceed softly. So, and you know, quiet doesn't mean boring, right? You can have so many experiences by yourself, but I feel that you're, you are focusing more on yourself in the upcoming few months because you want to grow spiritually. You want to expand spiritually. So some of you might also spend a lot more time, maybe going on dates by yourself. Maybe you're traveling by yourself, maybe uh, taking better care of yourself. But I'm kind of getting like life is going to teach you a lot about self-love in the upcoming few months. That's something that I'm seeing here for you, Paul number three. So I do see you like becoming more connected with yourself and more like going more in depth with yourself, understanding yourself better. I like this energy. It feels like the relationship with yourself um, is going to be the main focus for you next. And this is something I'm here just preparing you for what's to come after that. So it's going to be quite important for you guys to focus on yourself in the upcoming three months if there is some kind of opportunity that you guys want to meet in the future is mainly what i'm hearing let's get an angel card to end your reading here where is life taking you next pile number three let's see okay so you guys have 999 i'm unique oh i like this this is the perfect way to end your reading think the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you I feel this is honestly the best way to conclude your reading because I feel it confirms a lot of what, what I was saying. Um, it does feel like that if you, maybe some of you are feeling again unhappy with your past or how things have been in your past. Um, and it feels like you want to change your life for the better with the Wheel of Fortune. So it's saying here, um, I feel that when you guys commit to discovering yourself more, discovering your uniqueness and... Um, really going in depth with the relationship with yourself is really going to put you guys forward on a path that you guys will love you guys will like so you have um you have here so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you and i mentioned that this journey this inner journey is going to prepare you for an opportunity right and this opportunity is i feel the life that you want to live first you need to become the person of who you who lives the life 
that you desire, right? And it feels like this journey is preparing you to become that person and resonate more with that person, start thinking like that person, start to act like that person. So focus more on yourself, I want to say, or that's what life has prepared for you, Paul number three, in the upcoming three months. There is this energy of going more within, maybe going more in the hermit journey, again, understanding yourself better, uh, connecting more with your heart. So it might be it might be a bit more like quiet or peaceful in the upcoming three months, but it does feel like you need this in order to transition to the person who lives the life that you want, right? That's kind of what I'm getting here for you. But you're very unique and I feel that you will discover your uniqueness in the upcoming three months. So that's what I have for you, pile number three. I hope that this reading resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.